EA Sports coverage of the National Football League takes us to the City of Angels, Los Angeles, California. Coming up, we've got a good matchup on tap between the Miami Dolphins and the Los Angeles Rams. we go from SoFi Stadium. And this will go as a touchback and they will begin things at the 25. Set ready. Throwing to start here is Tua. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. And we're going to see this offense try and spread the field a little bit and utilize the outside throws of the field, especially against man coverage. But that time, the defense was up to the task, forcing the incompletion. Back to the air on second down, Tonga Bailoa. Buying time to his left. And that is incomplete. They are such a talented team at defending the perimeter and taking away throws to the outside. Great confidence, great skill. So now an early third and ten here on their opening drive. Two are going to throw. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. That was their first third down try of the game, and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. Two on fourth down. He's got a man, complete. And he will have a Dolphins first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. On play action, here's Tua. That one caught by Tyreek Hill. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop him. That'll go as a pickup of 32 on the catch and run. Well, things are looking pretty darn good on this first drive, aren't they? Came right out, set the tone, this time with a big pass play. And if the peek behind the curtain that they gave us and their game plan, I don't think that's going to be the last one we see. I think you're exactly right about that. He's got it. Touchdown, Dolphins. Chase Edmonds, a 14-yard touchdown. And the Dolphins are on the board first on the road here in L.A. Extra point up and good by Sanders, and it's now a 7-0 game. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. From the end zone, here comes Brandon Powell. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one.
five yards as he's tackled at the 20. Stafford and the Rams come up first and 10 at the 20. Back to throw, Stafford. He'll get this complete to Cooper Cup. Finding room at midfield. And they're going to get this down to about the 37. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. To throw is Stafford. That's out to the flat for Akers. And down right around the 32-yard line. Four yards on the pickup. Throwing again on second down. Stafford. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by Eric Rowe. Step out of bounds, but not before he's all the way across the 50. I know some teams are leery about playing cover, too, because the strong safety's not usually a terrific cover guy. But in this case, he played it perfectly. Read the football and went and made the interception. They'll run here with Raheem Mostert. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Here's Tongue of Iloa to throw. And that'll fall incomplete. He was hit just as he let that go. And now it's third down. That was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them. And I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass downfield that fell incomplete. 18 big yards on that one and a Miami first. Someone sharp in this game. I mean, a touchdown pass on the first drive and comes right back and he's flinging it around really well here. Really nice throw there to pick up the first down. You, you kind of just feel a laser focus and confidence about him. And I think we saw that this week, didn't we? Talking to him and the coach. That's into a crowd and intercepted. Picked up by Jalen Ramsey. And the Rams are going to get it back here just shy of the 20. Well, when he feels the pressure, naturally he likes going to his left, as most left-handed quarterbacks do. But this time he tries to let this go on the run, and it's going to wind up getting intercepted. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. That'll be caught. It's caught. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and 10. Here's Stafford. And he's got this down to the 35. So now first and 10 as they've crossed into Miami territory at the 35-yard line. Now Stafford. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try and pick up another first down. To throw once more on second and 10. Stafford. He's got his target. It's the tight end, Tyler Higby. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 20-yard line. After one, 7 nothing on EA Sports. If he doesn't make a play on that ball, there's an excellent chance it ends up either as a touchdown or as a nice gain downfield. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. 
Here's Stafford. Now that'll be tipped and intercepted. Picked off by Eric Rowe. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. They take over here following the interception. That's the good news. The tough spot is the spot that they're in. That's inside the five in the shadow of their own goalposts here. First and ten. After the turnover, it's Tua. And he goes down. It's a sack. They get him back at his own three-yard line. After the sack, here's second and 11. Looking to pass. Tua. Got a man here. It's Wilson. And they take this up near the 30 before he's taken down. That one good for 26 and a first down. And partner, they're locked in man coverage out left, and they end up running a crossing route. Rounded it a little bit more than a slant. And he's just going to angle himself towards the right side of the field, and that's very difficult for a defender to shout him across all that ground. Two and now on first down. And he just gets rid of it, throws it away. The lines move there, look like nobody open. Now second down. I would say it'd probably be a good idea for him to reintroduce himself to his receivers at the half because they're definitely on different wavelengths. But I also don't advocate waiting that long. Next series, before you get out there, hey, let's get together, guys. Let's get this thing moving. Second and 10 now from the 29. Now the first carry for Chase Edmonds. And he'll fight for a couple as the tackle is made at about the 32. Pretty good level two play sequence there. You force the incompletion and a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? So third down, and defensively, the Rams have added two extra DBs. Here's Tua. And that is incomplete. Like what I see so far out of this defense, because they've been showing their best coverages on third down. So far, only about one conversion out of a handful of attempts. One area of their game plan that they've executed to perfection. Tug of Iloa going for it on fourth down. That's caught by his big tight end, Mike Kosicki. And he will have a Dolphins first down as they find a way to convert on fourth and ten. That's a fourth down pickup of ten yards and an opportunity certainly missed on the defensive side. So two first downs, and that moves the ball to the 42 now, first and 10. Well, you got to think, Charles, that one's on the quarterback because everybody was up at the line of scrimmage. He just didn't call for the snap in time. Yeah, I think he needs a little bit better awareness out there because you got to know when the clock's in single digits and either snap it or get a timeout called if you have one. Tua sets up to pass it. 
And going deep for Hill. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. And some room to run now. And he will take this all the way down to the 38-yard line. 153 remaining in this first half of play. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. After the interception, here's Stafford. They'll get this into the hands of Van Jefferson. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. They'll run on first down with Akers. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Stafford. And on the left sideline, he caught it, but out of bounds, according to the headlinesman. Incomplete. So the ball a little late getting there, and it's third down. Throwing on third down, Stafford. And they will touch him down, but not before he gets the first. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. A shotgun snap for Stafford. And it's intercepted at the goal line. And the Dolphins are going to get it back here just past the 35. Charles, one thing that he referenced to us yesterday was his confidence fitting the ball into any window, but obviously that window was a little too tight, and it was closing in a hurry. And he was talking to us about having anticipation and making those types of throws. Down near the goal line, I don't think you can anticipate it as much as you need to see it. Oh, oh and two are going to be intercepted for the third time. Picked off by David Long. And he will bring it back. It's an interception return for a Rams touchdown. Well, this secondary just continues to be a force. Multiple interceptions in this game, and now the pick six. And the thing about it is once you get an interception as a unit, you think to yourself, okay, we got that. How do we increase it the next time? Get the interception, do a little more damage, and there's your outcome right there. Take it to the house and break down what they're trying to do offensively. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. Hill is going to take it out of the end zone. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And with only nine seconds remaining, well, not much time, we'll see how they play this. play of the drive there is incomplete. This is certainly a team that has proven it likes to target its backs through the air and defensively. They were aware of that and certainly were prepared on that throw. The final shot before half. And going deep for Hill. And got his man complete. And he's going to be brought down at about the 16. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Both these teams, no doubt, making their final halftime adjustments as we speak. And for the call of the second half, we get it back out to Brandon Gunn and Charles Davis. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. Set and ready to go for the second half. One touchdown apiece, 7-7 seven, seven our score. A tie game. I don't think anybody in this building, including you or I, was expecting that. <laughs> no, I would agree with that totally. I didn't expect to see it at all, but I kind of like where they were going with this. You know, as you said, tie game, trying to steal a possession, steal an advantage, and you told your defense at the half you were going to do it. 
which also told them that you had confidence in them in case it failed as that one just did. And yeah, now you've given good field position here to start the third quarter. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. And he'll be brought down on the other side of midfield at the 43. To throw again on second down. Stafford, that's caught left side. It's Higby, the tight end. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. From the gun on third down, Stafford. Open man is Higby, the tight end. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. They'll run for it with Akers. And he'll be touched down here, but not before he does pick up the first. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. From the gun, here's Stafford. Looking underneath, he's got Akers. And they're going to move it down inside the 25. From the 24, Stafford being chased out left. Oh, and that'll be incomplete. Oh, he took a shot as he let that go. And it's going to bring up a third down. There's nothing like pressure to affect the accuracy and the timing of a guy trying to throw the football. And on that play, they ended up flushing him to his left, contacted him as he's trying to throw the football, and that led to the incompletion. Here's the seventh play of this drive. This is third and four. Stafford going to give this to Akers. No gain on the play there, and it'll bring up fourth down. Here we go on fourth, Stafford. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. No luck for the Rams as they fail here on fourth down. And the Dolphins' defense is able to hold. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And both of these defenses have been stifling these last few drives offensively. Just not able to get anything going. So what needs to change? I think a lot of the guys will go back and review, so to speak, because everyone has someone assigned to. How did each play work? Okay, what did, what did we use that kind of worked for us during this game? Try and get back to some of those plays, as well as the possibility of showing something you haven't shown already in this game and trying to change things up. We'll see if they take the advice of Mr. Davis. Two and now on first down. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Certainly looked like someone was very confident in his ability to fit that one in. I would say he was overconfident because there wasn't a whole lot of separation there. Had that one covered pretty well downfield and knocked it away. To throw again on second down. Tua. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. And the Rams will take over here as they get it up to the 43-yard line. Well, Charles, he's thrown five picks in a game before, and right now, after that one, he's standing on number four. And right now, your defensive coordinator is asking the offensive coordinator, can you do anything to slow this down? Because my guys have to keep running back out on the field. So play calling may come into it a little bit, maybe run the ball a little bit more. But a lot of it depends on the scoreboard. They may have to keep throwing it. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. We saw this a lot in the first half, and it continues. These receivers just not able to get much separation. So that means they have to win the 50-50 balls. They've got to go up with the defender and 
and find a way to start coming down with them. And this time, contact and another incomplete pass. To throw is Stafford. And the hook up here to Allen Robinson. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. On fourth down, Stafford. He's going to have his running back. It's complete. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. How about them biting off 15 yards there on the fourth down attempt to keeping the drive alive? So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Now Stafford. And that'll be caught by Cup. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. And that's good for a gain of six. And it's second down. Throwing again at Stafford. Looking for Cooper Cup again, two in a row. And he'll be tackled at the 23 after a gain of three. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we've played three quarters. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Rams on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. They're up against a third and one situation. Here's Stafford. Forced out to his left. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. The Rams going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. Gay's kick is good. And they take the lead here now at 10-7. So he waited on the sideline for his first chance in the ball game, and it didn't come until the fourth quarter, but he connects there, a big one to give him the lead. Boy, you talk about coming in cold. I don't care how many times you kick it into a net. You're not really ready when you go out there and all that beef is coming at you trying to block the kick. Big spot, and he delivers. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And they really need to forget about their last time out, the turnover that led to a field goal. So now they try to regroup, trailing in the final quarter. Obviously, they'd love a touchdown, but three would suffice. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Well, we've talked about it, CD, but it bears repeating. And they are struggling to throw the football. All the interceptions and more incompletions. It just doesn't look like things are in sync out there. I would agree with that, and it's not a good day when you feel like an incomplete pass is almost a win for you because it wasn't intercepted. I think the receivers now, when they're running their routes, they want to catch the ball, but they also want to make sure that the defenders don't take it away. Open man, that's Gasicki down the field. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Now a play fake. Here's Tagovailoa sliding out of the pocket. And that's going to be too high. Out of bounds and incomplete. Understanding he's just down one possession, trying to make something happen by extending the play, but the coverage downfield was excellent. He escaped and bought some time, but that one goes incomplete. Throwing again on second and ten. Tua dancing to his left. Got a man here. Wilson and this is going to be another first down as the tackle is going to be made at the Rams 39 a really nice gain of 25 yards tell you what he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long that throw no different yeah a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw I think he looks at it as I can do it so it's not that big of a deal to me I'm gonna keep firing They'll run on first down, Edmonds. Oh, no, he lost the football. And now the Rams have got it, going the other way. And to the 40-yard line, that's where the return stops. Do you remember in preseason when we were going to the different training camps and visiting teams, and we always would see the running backs working out and going through those gauntlet drills, yep. and, you know, guys either slapping at the ball or the machines? you got to learn to take care of it. Yeah, they lost it there, big fumble. Following 
during the fumble recovery. Stafford. He'll get this to Akers out of the backfield. Clock continuing to run. They'll probably wind this all the way before snapping it on second down. Out of the gun, Stafford. And on the left sideline, he caught it, but out of bounds, according to the headlinesman. Incomplete. So the ball a little late getting there, and it's third down. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. Critical play in this football game, because if they pick up the first there, that clock keeps rolling. It has to be a little frustrating for them, because they know that if they pick up a first down there and continue to eat away at the clock, really increases their chances of closing this one out. Now they're likely going to have to give the football up and sweat it out on the sideline. And he is going to have the Rams first down as they manage to convert, and that'll keep the drive alive. Now it's Stafford. Now look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked up by Xavier Howard. Pass the 20. And he will bring it back. It's a pick six and a Dolphins touchdown. Well, I mean, both offenses have clearly struggled throughout, so kind of fitting that it's another big defensive play that yields points here in the late going. Yeah, really, both of these defenses have been up to the task throughout this game, and we haven't seen much in terms of offensive creativity or results. And there, not only does the defense force a turnover, but they have the presence of mind to take it back for six points. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six, and now the kick is away. Powell now to take it out of the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And at this stage, in the fourth, they need to work this into the end zone. A field goal doesn't do much. We'll see if they can cash in following the fumble. With... And that's caught inside the 30. Touchdown, L.A. Allen Robinson, 76 yards. And the Rams use the defensive breakdown to take the lead away here in the fourth. They get one more as the extra points up and good. So it's now a three-point game here in the closing stages as a field goal now can only tie it. After the touchdown, it's Gay to kick this one away. Hill is going to take it out of the end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. Now Tua. And seeing no options, he just tosses this one away incomplete. Now that'll bring up second down. Work with me, partner. Take a deep breath, because that's what they're doing down the field now. That incompletion allowed them to exhale a little bit. Get in the huddle, kind of scan the crowd, see if any celebrities are here. Relax a little bit as they start this big drive. And he'll be corralled well upfield right around the 40-yard line. That one, a gain of 20 in a first down. Brandon's okay what they're doing right now. Still able to work the middle of the field, but you know sooner or later, they're going to have to stop the clock. Tua. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Ooh, that's certainly not the worst thing. It stops the clock and lets your offense catch its breath and lets us exhale a little bit. Now I expect them to call a couple plays in the huddle. So they're ready if a tackle happens in bounds. Tongue of Iloa. He'll buy some time right. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Nice back-to-back -back plays defensively. They're stacking momentum now. One incompletion, two incompletion. They're going for more. Okay. 
Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Here's Tua. And able to find Gesicki as tight end. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. To the sideline, and that is a heck of a catch as he was able to get both feet in. It's another first down as they look his way again, this time 19 yards. Now a run straight ahead with Edmonds. It's a good pickup of seven yards, and now they're looking at second and goal. I'm all surprised right here. They've got three timeouts left. The clock's running down, and they are using them. Those timeouts do you no good at all. Use them now. Two and a throw. And he's got it. It's caught for a touchdown. And they have taken the lead here in the final seconds. Charles, that drive was perfect. Methodical, executed so well, and they grabbed that lead with almost no time left for a last gas from the other side. No way you could have drawn up a better final drive because not only did they keep their eyes on the end zone, but they made sure they bled the clock out as well and denied their opponent a chance to respond. That's just terrific situational football to end this one. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And CD, you know, sometimes you don't need those complicated game plans or the added wrinkles. Last time now you think about it, couldn't have been any simpler. One play, one pass, touchdown. I know those coaches put a lot of work into this game plan, but I don't think they mind possessions like that at all. They just saved those calls for this possession instead. So after all of this, it comes down to one final play. And just think of what it's going to be because from this distance, you've got to be prepared for everything. Hook and laterals, tip balls, you name it. A lot of... And my goodness, another interception. Picked up by Xavier Howard. And the Dolphins are going to hang on on the final play. They get the turnover to seal this football game. So a victory here for the Miami Dolphins. And it's going to be their defense that gets the ink in the headlines tomorrow. And for good reason. They forced five turnovers in this game. And while we were watching this game unfold, I kept thinking about when we did our training camp tour and something that you noticed along the way. Just about every camp we visited, when the defense got together, everyone was doing ball drills. Defensive linemen, linebackers, secondary, because they understood how vital it was to take the football away. And they wanted every opportunity. When the ball was knocked free, they want all those guys to be familiar with touching the ball so they can pick up the fumble or get the interception. And we saw it pay off in this one here. Yeah, five times. They'll remember this one. 